Said I had to free that bitch. Free all of my guys though. Caught him at that corner, turn that bitch into a side show. Bitch fagged off and came back, now she my side hoe. Only 15, but I'm steady looking fly though. Had to free that bitch. Free all of my guys though. Caught him at that corner, turn that bitch into a side show. Bitch fagged off and came back, now she my side hoe. Top score was with my but I'm steady looking fly though. But look, that Paul. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how to build your own front yard or backyard Vertimax. It's something that's kind of simple once when you see all the tools and stuff that you need. To get started with this, the stores that we'll be going to are is Lowe's, Big Five, Home Depot, and possibly Walmart. I'm going to go ahead, run to all these stores, grab the equipment that I'm going to be using, and then I'll show you guys what's the next step. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm in the car now. Like I said, I'm gonna be going to those different stores. Um, I'm gonna see what equipment I can get. Hopefully they have the things that I can use because this is something, you know, it's a creative type of thing, but in doing so, you wanna make sure that, you know, you practice safety and I'm real big on safety just in general. So I'm gonna do the best to get, you know, the parts that I feel is going to be the most, you know, secure with what we have planned. That way, you know, no one can get hurt in the process of this, especially, you know, myself. Um, that being said, like I said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we made it back from the store. I have my equipment laid out that I'll be using for today's setup. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we have in store. Okay, so what we have is two sets of ground anchors. These are both 8 inch. They're both rated to hold down 125, roughly to 150 pounds. So combined, that's a equivalent of, let's say, 300 to 250 pounds. Um, we have a bolt that has a ring on it, so that way we can use this as an additional stabilizer. And what this is right here is the three different tools that I'll be using to pretty much build the whole resistance itself to keep you stable and that's going to give you that good support and strength to hold you now, down. For all of this together this is all less than 20 bucks. Um, you know in my opinion that's really good. I know if you've used a Vertimax or if you know of a Vertimax they can be really pricey but not to knock them because you do find really good results with Vertimax. Um, you know, this is just something you can do that's cheap, it's fine, and you get real results out of it. Okay, so what I'll be using to get my setup going is my belt, obviously, that I'll be connecting to myself. This is going to be, you know, a nice leather belt, something that's sturdy, that's, you know, it has enough strength to hold you down. I was able to find this belt for less than $20, and I have good amount of super duty carabiners so now with a carabiner you know you use this to hold down tarps um, and the fact that these are super duty you can hold down equipment now I got an extra amount because I don't want to put too much strain on, on one carabiner so I'll be using additional carabiners for the stability and support that's going to be holding me down to the ground okay so now that I showed you guys the tools and equipment pretty much that we'll be using let me go ahead and show you guys this I normally set up in my front yard I just pretty much find a good spot find a tree and if you see I drilled a hole in my tree pretty much right here that way you know with the ground and the tree it's going to be a good amount of support to pretty much hold you down unless you're strong enough to pull the tree out the ground then yeah you got some serious strength i pretty much use a crowbar to help give me leverage to turn this anchor in the ground and obviously i use my gloves because i don't want to mess up my hands but that's my setup right there just a crowbar and my gloves now i didn't show this right away but i have also two other carabiners right there where this is going to be what I put into the belt and with the floor. So let's get it going. Okay, so I have my vice grips as well. This is what I use to screw my screw inside of the tree. Um, it just
just makes it easier that it doesn't let you hurt your hands. Um, like I said, I'm all about safety, so this is my setup of crowbar and my vice grips. So what I like to do, find my spot, get on to it. Now, whenever mounting this into the ground, you want to always check to make sure there's no type of electrical underneath, uh, no type of plumbing in your area right there. The way you can do that is like find your irrigation line, uh, your sprinklers, and pretty much you'll be able to fill if there's any type of pipes or if you start feeling any resistance as you're twisting. Obviously, you know, you shouldn't twist down right here. There you see our first anchor down. Go ahead, give it a second anchor. Got both of my anchors down, and now. Here's a closer look. Like I said, I have my ground anchor. I have both of them installed. I use the crowbar for the leverage. And then I have my screw that I put in the tree. For that, I used a drill bit to you know, give me a lead. Once when I did that, it was able to go right in. And there you go. So I like to set mine up in a triangle. That way, you know, they have a nice location apart from each other. And so now the next step is getting our carabiner set up on our anchors and getting our belt set up so we can do our workout. Um, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's cut and dry. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and show you guys now the next step. All right, and here's our final finish right here. I have my carabiners connected. I have my support from the tree. And if you notice, I put two carabiners her anchor because I just want to make sure that they're properly secure um, I don't want one to be working harder than the other that way it prevents any type of safety hazard and like I said you guys can have some fun with this one you'll find real results just you know and the best part about this is the more and more you use it you'll start to find pieces that you can add to it, for instance, like ankle cuffs and just other supports that you can use to target different areas. So by all means, just, you know, be creative, come up with some more ideas and let me know if you enjoy this and the results that you find out of this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, you can be creative with that type of setup. It's something that I've, you know, just took time to think on with what tools to use, what screws to use. And so by all means, I'm sure you can possibly do something to find even better results. And that's what I hope. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the video, the setup. Like I said, let me know your results. Leave, you know, your opinions, everything down in the comments. I'll leave a list so you guys can see what screws and tools that I used for my setup. And stay tuned. I got plenty of more videos coming you guys' way. Be safe. Wash your hands. God bless.